Hello, uh, welcome to MathSeq Tutorials. And in this video specifically, we are going to look at example number three of a problem involving solving partial differential equations by the direct integration method. Now, we solve a partial square of z with respect to y is equal to z if y is equal to 0 when z is equal to exponential x and partial z or partial y is equal to exponential negative x. So these are the conditions. So we'll apply these conditions after integrating our partial differential equation by the direct integration uh, method. So we start. So we have partial squared of z over partial y squared is equal to z. So uh, remember, we can recall that d over partial y is equal to operator d. So that means, that means operator d squared of z is equal to z so operator d squared of z minus z is equal to zero so we factor out the common z so z d squared minus one is equal to zero so these are auxiliary equation so z is equal to 0 and of course d squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So we let d to be equal to m or to be m. So m squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So m is equal to 1 or square root of 1. That means m is equal to 1. Or it can be negative one. So these are our two roots. Now, since this is a partial differential equation, our general solution here uh, will be z is equal to our general equation will be z is equal to a function one of x exponential y plus f of 2 of x exponential negative y. So y because our first root is 1, then negative y because our second root is negative 1. So this is our solution. Now, we apply the conditions. We've been given y is equal to 0 when z is equal to exponential x. So we start with this one first. Then the next one will be when y is equal to 0 when, okay, if y is equal to 0 when y is equal to this, partial z or partial y is equal to exponential negative x. Now, when this z we put exponential x, we we'll have exponential x is equals to f1 uh, of x exponential 0 because our y is 0 plus f of 2 x exponential negative 0 which is just 0 so exponential 0 is 1 so exponential x is equals to f1 of x plus f2 of x can call this equation number one now we apply the next part of condition when y if y is equal to zero when partial z or partial y is equal to exponential negative x now to apply this condition we have to get or to differentiate equation number one. 
so we have I mean you differentiate this general uh, equation here you can call this equation number x so we differentiate equation number x we have so partial z or partial y is equals to f of 1 of x exponential y then minus f of 2 of x exponential negative y so we integrate an exponential y will have exponential y when we integrate exponential negative y will have negative exponential raised to exponential y so like this so we apply our condition so partial z or partial y is equals to exponential negative x so exponential negative x is equals to f of 1 x exponential of 0 minus f of 2 x exponential of negative 0 which is 0 so exponential x exponential negative x is equals to f1 of x minus f2 of x because exponential 0 is just 1 this is question number 2 now we can solve these two equations simultaneously so we have exponential x is equals to f1 of x plus f2 of x then exponential negative x is equals to f1 of x minus f2 of x so we can add these two equations equation 1 and equation number 2 or we can subtract so exponential x is equals to f1 of x plus f2 of x then exponential negative x is equals to f1 of x minus f2 of x we subtract now adding the two equations we'll have exponential x plus exponential negative x will be exponential x plus exponential negative x is equals to when you add the two we'll have 2 f1 of x then of course this one is will be zero so f1 of x is equals to exponential x plus exponential negative x over 2 but exponential of x plus exponential negative x over 2 is the same as cosine hyperbolic of x so f1 of x is equals to cosine hyperbolic of x now solving the other part we subtract we have exponential x minus exponential negative x is equals to this one will be zero so we'll have two f2 of x when subtract the two so f2 of x is equals to exponential of x minus exponential negative x over 2 but exponential of x minus exponential negative x over 2 is equals to sine hyperbolic of x so f of 2 of x is equals to sine hyperbolic of x now our solution will be z is equals to now considering our equation x here we replace what is f of f1 of x replaced with the cos hyperbolic of x and where there is f2 of x will replace sine hyperbolic of x love z is equals to cos hyperbolic of x 
uh, exponential y plus f of 2 sine hyperbolic of x exponential negative y. Uh, 